Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much makes sense. Pretty much makes sense. <laughs> dot dot dot. The button for the fourth floor is missing. Tetraphobia. Tetraphobia. Fear of the number four is quite common for buildings in China to be missing the fourth floor. But we're not in China. But the fourth floor is there. Just the button is missing. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we're not in China. Exactly. <laughs> you have all the answers, don't you? <laughs> Let's go to. I, I, Oh, oh, so that I thought. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I, sorry, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm, I'm not as dumb as Dooley, but yeah. Sci fi and fantasy children. Dooley, you want to say something? What did the rabbi and the priest talk about in library? I don't know. Nothing. Libraries are a place of quiet. <sighs> Respect and solitude, which they were both respecting. You need to work on your stand-up material. Really, really, Dooley needs to work on that. He really sucks at comedy. What all leaves that plant has? That that's just that's that's just the dead tree where Doris dries her stockings. Hmm, I, I don't want to know that. Don't blink. Okay. Should we go to the sci-fi? Yeah, let's go to the sci-fi slash fantasy. Yeah. Let's just start from the left. This weird thing is moving on here, but yeah, wrong. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger. <coughs> I cannot do that for a long time because I, I don't have a I, I, I don't have a voice that can stay low pitched. It's not even low pitched. It's it's mocking somebody. Yeah. Until I found out that they had to go into space. Nailed it. Looks like someone of the rocket's aluminium is coming off. Oh, some of the, sorry, not someone. Looks like some of the rocket's aluminium is coming off. That could be useful. You really are taking metals. Oh, really? Sci-fi books. Fantastic orbit, drawn in moonlight, strangled by her own bra. <laughs> I, I just, I love the developer man. He's insane. There will be, there will be a link in the description for, for, for the developers page on Game George. I would really love if you check him out and follow him on his upcoming games and updates on this one. This game is insane. Yeah. Challenge okay, to the library gun. How convenient. I'd have expected to go through a series of semi-logical puzzles to get this. Yes, um, all the all the puzzle games do this. But yeah, this game is convenient, as I said. You received item, old library card. Thank you. Now let's, uh, let's address the chessboard. I like this magnetic chess sets. I don't think those pieces are magnetic. Sure, how else would they be moving, detective? Yeah, there's somebody right there, I guess. Dooley. I never understood this section. How can something be fiction and science? Hey, he makes a point. He, he makes a... Oh my god, my keyboard. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's good now. Yeah, but he, he does make a point. How can something be fiction? And science, am I right? Um, I don't know what to do with you sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's. <laughs> Get me a raise. Nah, never, never. Swords and shield. If we lived in medieval times, we'd be living the adventures of ye dark side by leaf and his queer dually. Nope, never. No fantasy books. Golem Tales of the Sad Adventure. <laughs> pretty well thought, pretty well thought. Doctor Whom's thrilling adventures through grammar and strength. I'm just gonna go, I'm just not gonna repeat more stuff. <clears throat> Children's section. What about this one? The words are short, and I think I can read the whole book from one cover to the other cover. 
oh, is that suitable for my age range? I read a book about books for my age range and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it because I, I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking... And talking... Talking dogs in here. Sorry for my, my headphones just unplugged. Never mind. Little Devon. Let's start with here. Robot. I hope I get to have a pet robot someday. So many responsibilities. Feeding it. Rubbing its belly. Teaching it to overthrow humanity. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's our job. It will learn eventually. Why would you teach it that? I want to be on their good side. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I want to be on their good side when the inevitable happens. <laughs> Dooley is one one heck of a one heck of a character man. I've always loved trains and tramps, not monorails though. Thinking they're better than everyone because they're up in the air. Take that, monorails. Books. Why your parents don't love you? Oh, oh that's, that's that's so hurting. Is that a book? Anne and Barry face final ruin. Seriously, those are children's books. Little and big. Boo! Save the day. Oh, let's talk. Nobody, not one person, needs kids to be talking like there is somebody invisible with them. Uh, it's 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 a basic cliche that like everybody is like um kids are the the basic victims of talking to invis invisible people right there person people whatever uh, yeah that that cliche was taken out there let us a b c as easy as four fives oh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna allow that <laughs> just gonna allow that let's see dinosaur the dust is. is the dust is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Huh. A view ma A view master. I loved those as a kid. I'll take this and see if I can find a use. It's time like this that I miss walking the paint. <laughs> you received item of you master. Floating book books. Bad baby. Oh, why am I doing Dooley's voice? Bad baby insights. All right. I'm just gonna. Those books are offensive. I'm just gonna. Tell me. You look familiar. Have I arrested you before? I think he was in the last case, lying on the bedroom of Alice. Floating book. Well, well, that's not right. Neat trick. What magic book did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic. It's nothing. 